Hi, Steve Caracato from Spacecraft Creation Models. Working on the new Skylab from Estes. Okay, this kit is uh, 1 100 scale. This is the unboxing. Uh, you see all the body tubes. Uh, there's styrene plastic nose cones. Looks like the engines are plastic. Uh, got the parachute and all the supplies. Got some plastic wraps. That's a 101 body tube. Uh, here's the wraps. Uh, they're really thin so it's going to go on real nice. Okay, next I'm going to put the body tube together with the rings for the engine mount. Um, this is where you just cut these out. I measured it like the instruction said. And then I'm going to put a bead of glue around it. So it has a nice sturdy bead on it. So this is going to hold the engine. Okay. Now I have all the three rings, so it's ready to go into the large body tube of the main engine. You can see where I got all the tubes. This is the nozzle. It's going to have a screw in, so an F engine will fit in there. It'll be really neat to just unscrew that and pop the engine okay, in. Okay, next I'm going to put glue around the rings so I can install it inside the large body tube. And this is what it looked like, and you can see that I put another bead in there. Then this section here is the third stage where the shroud's going to go. And this is where I'm putting some uh, putty into the nose cone so it has the weight distribution. And that way it'll pop out. Okay, now I have the shroud put onto the upper stage. And then next I'm going to use the 3M Super 77 adhesive to spray on the shrouds and that way I can just uh, put it onto the body tube. Okay, so once I spray the adhesive on here then I'll be able to fold it around and put it right onto the body tube like so. And then I'm just gonna kinda brush it with my fingers and thumbs to make it adhere. Okay, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol to get all the residue off. Okay, now I'm going to be putting the nose cone together with some clay to, so the center of gravity will help deploy the third stage parachutes. Then I'm going to add some uh, styrene detail to the plastic wraps and I'll be using the Flexophile Weld On Glue which is really good for plastic and doesn't melt it. Okay, I got the Saturn V fins and shroud for the lower booster, and I'm going to put the wrap around. And that way, that's where the fins will go for the boosters. Okay, I got one fin on with the shroud. Turned out pretty nice. This is the third stage again, completed. Now I'm going to have to prime it all. I'm going to be using the wood filler putty with some Elmer's glue so I can paint it into the wraps of the paper shroud. Using wet 600 sandpaper, I sanded the body tube smooth and you can see that it fills in the grooves real nicely. Now that it's all sanded, I'm going to paint the booster with this gray fill-in primer, which again, I'll probably re-sand it just a little bit more, but it'll be ready for paint after that. Okay, now I'm going to use the ultra flat white paint to paint the entire booster. Once this is done, I'm going to paint all the stages with XF1 black, and I'll be using an Iwata airbrush. 
And this is what it looks like when I'm spraying it with the airbrush. Okay, I use masking tape, of course, to tape off all the areas. Here's the third stage completed. There's the bottom, and I'm going to be using XF2 flat white to finish painting the rest of the rocket. And then this is another section where I taped off to paint the fins, which will be silver. And this is another using X11 chrome silver for the engines and for the fins. Okay, now I got all the black stripes painted on the Saturn V rocket booster, the middle stage, and all the way up to the third stage and where Skylab is. I'll be using the decals that come with the kit, their water slide. They turned out really nice what they've uh, done from Estes. They're very accurate. I'll be using future floor wax to put the decals on as I'm showing you here. Put the future underneath and then just brush it on. Okay, here's what it looks like completed with all the decals on the Saturn V rocket. Turned out really nice. Next, it's time to assemble the parachutes. And I'll be doing that. And I'll be using my X-Acto blade here and I'll be punching some holes into the spots where the wires go. There it is completed. The Saturn V Skylab is complete. From Spacecraft Creation Models, I really enjoyed doing this build for Estes, and I want to thank Jordan for giving me the opportunity to do it. Thank you.